And hello everybody, my name is Cloud, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm playing with, um, Josh and, uh, Pop CCC. Hel say hello, people. Hello, I'm Mr. Blackface. Yes, what? he has a black face, because he wasn't, um, he did, he was too lazy to make a face on his skin. Yes, and I am, I am, I am the great papyrus. Yes, he is the great papyrus. Would you like to try some of my spaghetti? No, thanks. All we're going to do is touching things, so we're going to punch some sand. Try yeah. some spaghetti! Here. Why are we dig- uh, Why are we digging up, up sand? Hole. Ah! Why are Let we me, digging up sand? Let me shove some spaghetti into your mouth! <laughs> what yeah. is happening? No, I don't want this! Dude, I don't want this! What happened to me? Once I get the furnace going, I'll be able to make my own glass house. Hello, America. People who live in glass houses. Why are you guys just like punching stuff? I already have a stack and four of wood, and you guys are just standing there punching sand. Because we want to dig out. Okay. Guys, if we just light it, if we lit up this area really quickly. If we lit up this yeah, area really quickly, there would be no monsters. True. Um, guys, there's an, um, a guardian temple over there that I found earlier before I started recording. So, we're gonna have to do stuff with that. I already got some, I got cool. a bunch of wood, so I'm gonna start building us, um, a nice little house on the corner cool. of this Cool, except of this I'm hill. not, I'm not gonna live in that house with you guys. I already know what I'm doing. I don't know, yeah. I just like... You just like having everything to yourself. No, just that's kidding. Not how it is. Dude, it's just a joke. Just a prank, I know, bro. No, but still. Just a prank. I'm just trying. No, do not become a prank channel. Those are the worst kinds of channels. No offense to fans of prank channels. Just a prank, bro. Just a prank. Prank, bro. Uh, I I made you think I I was actually. In fact, I did kidnap you, but it's just a prank, bro. Oh great, you guys are destroying these trees. I was gonna build my house inside of them. It's okay though. I can build my house somewhere else. Okay. We're not even concerned, and that concerns me. Okay. I just click on the tree. Now the wonderful thing is, it would be really easy to light up this island, and monsters will never spawn on it. Yeah. I'll work on that tomorrow. So, Josh, what are you getting all that sand for? Do, 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 Josh? Do, do. Joshua, what are you getting that sand for? Well, now that I find uh, that I finally managed to uh, uh, grow a brain for once, maybe uh, maybe now I can fulfill my fantasy of, of building a glass house. Hello, America, people who live in glass houses. Ooh, I think I think I'll make a glass house too. Because having mm -hmm. that we're surrounded by sand, I'm not surprised. Guys, guess what I found? What? Coal. Oh, useful. Build some, build some torches, then. You know what to do with that. No, he doesn't. No one knows. I'm gonna build my house out on the beach. I'm gonna have a beach house. We have a spider infestation. Grab, you know, grab its string and make a fishing pole. So we can uh, build a little beach area over here. I'll start building my house now. Build the frame. Yeah, I think I will. Hey, Zen, you, now? you do not slap me in my beautiful face. You will die. Get in the water! You I stupid zombie! Every zombie should. You will now drown as every zombie in their mate should. <laughs> but like I, I was saying before, um, Sonic and Hedgehog before the sequel. I'm going to wait for it. Alright, there, there are versions of monsters in this game that you have to wave a sword at until they stop moving, which is normally characterize the game, and that's not what you're there for. In the same way you don't go to the beach to get sand kicked in your face, but you don't know the clouds do to get your eyes down to have a broken bottle. Uh, wait, now make a workbench, now make a pickaxe, find some stone and make a better pickaxe, now find some coal. If maybe luck is consent to smile, you'll find some in a wall somewhere. Now I don't know how you're supposed to figure all this out. And while your workbench is open, make a shovel. Because as the, the sun's going down, you're gonna dig a big hole and cry in it until the exploding butt bumps just go away. Yeah, I'm done with that joke. 
This is actually gonna be a pretty good house. Oh hey, here's another coal pocket. So yeah, le like I was saying, um, yeah. I'm gonna make this house look ah, really good. Spiders, they must die. Ouch. That's two old spiders. Seriously though, like I was saying before the um, Sonic the Hedgehog before the sequel, I actually still need to play it, but the music to it is amazing, especially for a fan game. I'm listening to that soundtrack right now through my headphones, so yeah, it is just a beautiful. Move out of the way, Josh. Soundtrack. The spider must die. Yes, kill them all. Wait, if I remember, Shadow the Hedgehog killed them all. Yeah. Kill them all. You know, trees. Chop them down with the flat of your hand. I seriously need some wood. Do you guys have any extra wood? Daniel, go cut down some trees. Like we do. There did. are hardly any other trees, and I did cut down some trees. Okay, then make oh, some... Okay. Then get some saplings and place them down. Ah. I, we have placed down saplings. We're going to have to get more efficient at this. Actually, I think I'll build a little tree farm area. Fresh shift and things magically appear. That sounds fun. Kind of, maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, they are grizzly kind of way, maybe. I think I'm just gonna have to make some glass to build my house with. Yeah, that's what I'm planning to do anyway. Build up this, build up this, build, build a house out of glass. Isn't that just nice? Yeah, sure, sure. I don't know. The zombies and the spiders need to go, though. They're yeah. kind of making me a little agitated. Uh huh. Okay. I'm, I'm Mr. The Cloud. Uh huh. Oh, hey, it's this is a YouTube time. video. Okay, it's beautiful. Subscribe to me on YouTube, or I'm gonna kill oh, you. Spider. Die! Die! Yeah. You stupid Subscribe idiot. right now, or you're gonna not live. Uh huh. Yes. That's really friendly. I am king of the world. Actually, I'm, I'm king of the world. Well, ha ha ha. Because I stand upon the floating blocks. Because I stand upon the floating blocks. Because I stand upon the floating blocks. And I'm disappearing at a very fast rate. I am on top of the web. Conversation time with Pub. Okay, wait, you guys. I have a question. So you know how sometimes franchises will get a reboot or there will be multiple different like versions of the universe? Or a completely different universe that uses the same characters in a franchise. Yes. Yeah, like every yeah, like Spider Man. Right. Okay, so Peter what? Parker wants pizza time. Ow. I think I just, ah, I think Peter, I just broke Peter. my leg. Oh wait, I, I can still move. I want pizza time. Okay, so let's have a little conversation about that for some commentary for the series. Um like we can have a conversation about this kind of thing every episode. Mm -hmm. So this week I'm this, uh, or this day, I don't know, it might be next day, week, week, I have no idea. Um, uh, what, what are your guys' least favorite continuities in a series? It could be a reboot of a series, a different version running alongside the series, a different universe yeah. in the series. What are you, oh, you want my opinion on this stuff, all you, uh, I don't care what it's about, as long as I think of something interesting to watch, I'll just let it have its way. Yeah, that's uh, kind of bad thing. I do, I do agree with that most of the time because there are a lot of cool ideas with that, but at the same time, there are still some that are worse than others. Like, like if you have my opinion on stuff, one of the least films was, and I know I've seen kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog obsessed this episode, but to any Sonic the Hedgehog comics fans out there, I really am not a fan of the Sonic the Hedgehog comics. And for all you people out there who think that it's the same universe as the games, it is definitely not. And the reason that no one has. Right. But I mean, I'm just trying to make a point here that it, it just annoys me a lot of the stuff they do with the comics. Because they just do things that really don't feel like they belong in Sonic the Hedgehog, and it's really weird. I can actually see what you mean, because those things are terrible. I watched, um... Daniel, no, look at one of those, and I was like, what is wrong with the creators of that? And they've got enough money to buy Switzerland, why, and all they do is remake the same game. <laughs> and they, they, seriously, they seriously could make a lot of new stuff very quickly. 
Well, I'm not really talking about Sega themselves, because I think Sega makes pretty cool games. And I do, for, like, people who don't like the Sonic the Hedgehog series, are like, oh, Sonic's gone downhill. I don't completely agree with that. I just think he's more gone up and down quite a bit, and then he just had a lot of mediocre points. The thing that I don't like is a lot of the choices they make when they when the people at the Archie Comics company write the Sonic the Hedgehog comics. Because if it just doesn't make sense. There are a lot of things in those that just don't belong in Sonic. Like, random plot nines literally involving Sonic's friends getting married. It's like... I can understand if you're following these characters why you'd want to see something like that, but at the Makes same sense time, that Archie Comics does those. Yeah, but I mean, seriously, that's just fuel for DeviantArt. It's seriously, like, the most... It's fuel for the furries. Odd... <laughs> it's I died. It's just seriously the most odd thing you could put in Sonic the Hedgehog, though, and it does annoy me. Do you have any bir place. Daniel, can I have some birch wood? I need it for my um for my floor. What are you making over there? Um, just a tiny little glass hut. Sorry. That has like guys, four just... blocks of space in it. I know. I'm gonna have to expand it. I just thought I would be able to build it. I'm gonna it expand by... my house into the hill. Can I have some birch wood? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. It's just. I guess now that I turned the music I was listening to off, I can focus it on. So the thing I've always liked about the Sonic the Hedgehog games is that they're video games. I mean, the plot lines in some are good and some are bad, but the plot doesn't always have to be perfect. And I do think the story can be the strong point of a video game, but at the same time, the most important part is the gameplay. That's why it's called a game. Of course, in some games like Minecraft Story Mode, that's not true because it's all about making choices and changing the story. But like RPGs, you want you need a lot of the time you need, you need, you need RPGs. A strong story. Do we have any coal? Coal? Uh, I did have some coal. I might have used. I it have one there. coal. How much coal do you need? I just need a coal. I have one right here. But no, no, don't take my coal. I didn't take your coal. I'm talking to Nathaniel. Um, but anyway, like I was saying. It's just that kind of thing that annoys me, because... Yeah, I see what you mean. Seriously, I under... Like I said, I understand people who really like these characters and stuff, but at the same time, seriously, does it really make a lot of sense to see in a Sonic the Hedgehog media two people getting married? They literally centered a whole comic around a marriage, around a wedding. That makes no sense whatsoever. For yeah, I guess if you wanted, I guess if you wanted to, if you wanted the two characters I love, I guess if you wanted to do that, but that's just kind of, that's just kind of, I don't know, fan service, I guess. Yeah, and that's what I hate about it. It's fan service, and that's the biggest thing that I see at the Sonic comics. Fan, and, fan service is just people said that people said the scene where Ray where Ray found Luke is fan service. No, it's just it's just to show that you didn't fail in a mission. I mean, come on, there's a lot of stuff to like about that movie. Really. Yeah. But it's yeah, like a difference between... I see what you I, mean, guys. And I think the biggest thing is, the, the writers at SEGA, some of them are good and some of them are bad, but the general thing for the writers at SEGA is they want to make a good Sonic the Hedgehog game that is mainly... and it mainly has to center around the plot. And the thing about Sonic Comics is... it doesn't center around the kind of style that the game center around, first of all. It's very, very different. And also, it can also depend on the um, style that the people are drawing the characters in. The, the comics can have a very different feel depending on who's drawing the artwork. Exactly. I, I, I think I have like three of those comics, and two of them don't have any of the extraneous characters that are not in the game, except for Mega Man characters, because they seriously, back in the summer of 2013, or just 2013 in general, they had this big crossover thing between Mega Man and Sonic the Hedgehog comics, which is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I didn't, I mean, I I actually thought it was interesting, though, because it wasn't really fan service. It was actually an interesting plot line they had developing. And it was like a whole 12 comic series or something. It, I don't know, it was weird. In general, though, I think that's interesting. But, I don't know. That's the other thing. I think the biggest reason people um, consider the Sonic comics to be 
part of the Sonic the Hedgehog game universe is because of the fact that, um, there were Sonic the Hedgehog shows back in the 90s, and there was one very popular one that went on on Saturday mornings, and that starred a bunch of the characters, a bunch of the characters, or I guess what I'm trying to say is a lot of the main characters in that show are main characters in the comics, and I can understand that because people, people in America, that was the, the story of Sonic to them. People in Japan, they never had those shows, so they only followed the games. So people in Japan never mistook that as the story for the games. But the thing is, people in America, because they were kids, they're like, oh, so these characters must be in the game universe, even though they never appear in any of the games. They appeared in one of them. Yeah, Sonic Spinball, which first of all is a spin-off title, and second of all was to it... I think it said to introduce American characters to the Japanese audience, which still doesn't make a ton of sense. And, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of starting to ramble now, but it just is really interesting to me. And I don't mean to... The thing you've been doing is rambling, okay? But whatever, it's good for whatever. As long as you can bring up a good point, I guess it's worth listening to. Yeah. True. I guess I'm just trying to say, though, I don't want to offend anyone who is a fan of the Sonic the Hedgehog comics, but I really do not see what people like so much about them, because I really don't like them that much. I just bet I just bet there's gonna be one person in the comments section who says, Well, you're the only one, Pop. <laughs> and those people are gonna go to the alive. Oh goodness. Probably shouldn't say stuff like that in Nathaniel's channel, just to let you know. Don't worry, I'll bleep right. it out. Don't worry now, I can bleep stuff out, it's fine. Okay. Well, at least, well, at least Steve can edit that stuff out. He's near our unpainted turn. Oh, wait, that's Cody's. Sorry. <laughs> Steve, sorry, Steve. Yeah, Steve, I'm sorry. <laughs> Steve. Yeah. Yeah, pretty care. Yeah. Either way, though, I'd actually like to hear your guys' opinions on just the concept of alternate um, continuities in different series and such. Because that's something that actually really intrigues me. I don't know. I guess I said that as if I was going to add more onto that, but I wasn't. I don't know what to do now. Do you guys have any wood? Actually, I can run out this tree right here. Daniel, go into my house. I want you to see what I'm doing. It's the same. Let me get this tree cut down. Or are you? Oh, good. Woo! A zombie was about to go into my house. Well, I have two things of hunger. I'll probably die pretty soon, but still. That's why sprinting all the time in Minecraft is not a good idea. I haven't been sprinting all the time, but we need to get a food farm going. We need to get. Oh, we need to. We need to grow a wheat farm. That's what we need to do, so we can get some bread. Still. Um, make a hoe to get some land going. We need to do this. Um, this is kind of a necessity right now, considering that we don't have any animals. Okay, just one second. I got, I got, a, uh, I got some seeds. We're good. Nice. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and plant some dirt over by the ocean, and then mm -hmm. I can start growing some stuff over here. I'm gonna try to get some more seeds because I don't want to be short. I, I think that we should have food. a little bit more dirt than that. So, can we just start with that for now, please? Because, I mean, we don't have any seeds as it is. Because I seriously cannot find any other grass on this island at all. On the island at all. Yeah, that was it. We're. I think we're all. Got it. Yeah. I have what a lot of dirt, so I'm, I'm placing a lot of dirt here. Okay. This can be our little farm. Please grow seeds. I seriously have- I have a half a heart, and I can't- Do you have a bone? Down, do you have any bones? Sorry, no. I'm gonna Josh, really do you have any bones? Back. No. Okay. I don't even think there are gonna be any skeletons growing here. I just said skeletons growing. I'm gonna turn up my render distance to see if I can see any other islands out in the distance, because then I could build a boat and I could adventure over there. 
where Josh and I or Nathaniel and I or something, and we could go try and find some food or something, because this is kind of Yeah, there's no tall grass on this island. There was a little bit, but I took it all out, and all I got was one seed. There's some squids. I see little things. Squids are only good if they're shooting ink out of guns. Oh. And of course I died. I have to go grab those items. Actually, that might have to be the way I regain health until we get more food. I'm just gonna have to kill myself and grab my items again. Trying to build a roof. Did you grab any of my items? No. Yes, you did. You're lying. You're lying. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yeah, you probably ain't. No, I'm not. I didn't. I didn't know it died me. You know what, guys? There is me, senpai. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thanks for watching, all everyone. Bye.